stuff on my mind that I want to talk about I want to kind of share with you some stuff concerning relationships tonight particularly this is what I want to talk about how to know when you are in relationship with a insecure person how to know when you are in relationship with an insecure person do me a favor call somebody and tell them to get on with us tonight I'll only be a few minutes, I promise. I want to give you some signs to know when you are in relationship with an insecure person. I won't, I won't talk to you about that tonight because a lot of you are in relationships with insecure people and you are calling it one thing when you know in reality it is another. You are making excuses for their insecurity and uh, you're staying in relationships you ought to be running from and um, you are miserable as a result of being in relationship with insecure people. Now what am I saying? I'm not saying that every relationship with an insecure person you need to leave or abandon. Some relationships with insecure people can be solved through conversation but if you've had conversation after conversation after conversation after conversation and they are still insecure, still jealous, still scared, still afraid. Well, you might need to run like Forrest Gump. How to know when you're in relationship with an insecure person? I want to give you uh, about six signs. And I kind of jotted them down as the Lord gave them to me. First sign to know whether you're in relationship with an insecure person is this. Write this down if you have a paper and pen. They are controlling and anxious. They are controlling and anxious. Insecure people are often very, very controlling. And at first, this seems like a harmless thing until your life is consumed by their control. Insecure people are very controlling. Um, they're always on guard and they're always... Uh, trying to manipulate the different aspects of your life. They don't want you to breathe, move, or think without their approval. Their whole mission is to emotionally batter you into subjection so that you need an approval, their approval particularly, for every move you make and every step you take. And uh, there's a word for that. You know what it's called? prison. That's prison. Uh, it is a relationship that imprisons you. It is a relationship that ultimately you have to endure and you will never enjoy. Insecure people are extremely controlling. Watch the person who every time you're on the phone, they're looking side eye. Every time you get off the phone, they want to know who you were talking to, what you were talking about. You got to watch that. Because these are telltale signs often that you are in relationship with a person who is extremely insecure and uh, they, will, they will consume your life, get this, with explaining yourself. Everything I do should not need an explanation. I'm a grown man. You're a grown woman. Everything you do should not need an explanation. Now those things that deserve an explanation, I don't mind explaining. But I'm not explaining every move I make and every step I take simply because you are insecure and uh, you're not self-fulfilled. And when you're not self-fulfilled, you will try to consume me with your dysfunction. So insecure people are very, very controlling. A lot of you ladies, you think that's cute in the beginning, you know, when a guy wants to know everything, oh, he's so, it's so cute. He wants to know where I am. Uh, he wants to know what I'm doing. It's so cute. It's cute in the beginning, but that thing gets old. 
and thing gets old at a certain point uh, trust me at a certain point uh, you should not need to always check up on me at a certain point you got to realize that I am an individual and I was an individual before I met you and uh, if leaving you uh, is what it takes for me to get my individuality back that's what's going to have to happen because I will not I will not I hope y'all hear me tonight I will not allow you to consume and control my life my time and my existence oftentimes insecure people are extremely extremely controlling that's why they try to break uh, every influential relationship in your life huh insecure man gets with a woman don't want, don't, doesn't even want her family calling in the house insecure woman gets with a man uh, she doesn't want, doesn't want nobody uh, in his life whose voice matters why because of their own personal insecurity second sign Second sign that you're dealing with a person who is insecure, write this down, is they need your attention. Now notice what I said and notice what I didn't say. I didn't say they want your attention. I didn't say they desire your attention. That's normal. That's natural. But I said they need your attention. Now there are intervals in every relationship where at a certain point somebody's going to need some attention but that should not be the standard through the entirety of the relationship you shouldn't always need my attention because needing is too much pressure huh needing my attention means that your life and your joy and your sanity is dependent on you talking to me. Your life, your joy, your sanity is dependent on you talking to me. And your life, your, your joy, and your sanity, and, and everything about you is consumed by whether or not you have all of my attention. I'm talking to somebody in this room. They need your attention. And need is a strong word. Because need means I cannot live without it. How many times have you heard people say, well, if, if you ain't going to be with me, you ain't going to be with nobody. One of the most insecure statements ever spoken is that. If you're not going to be with me, you're not going to be with anybody. If I can't have you, can't nobody have me. How does it start out? It starts out with them needing your attention. Listen. I want you to want me, but I don't want you to need me. I don't want you to need me. I don't want your life swinging on the hinges of whether or not you are with me or whether or not you hear from me. That's why they get all out angry when you don't answer your phone on the first ring and they text you and it's been 15 minutes and you haven't responded and they act like the world of the sky is falling. They act like the world is on fire. Why? It's only 15 minutes and I haven't returned your text. I haven't even seen it yet. But because you're so needy, child of God, listen, you don't want to be in relationships with needy people because needy people are draining people. Needy people will kill you. Uh, they will kill you in the name of love. <laughs> they will kill you in the name of love. They will drain all of the life out of you. A relationship should reinvigorate you. It should revive you. It should not drain you. And when you are tied to a needy individual, it drains all of the life out of you. It literally drains all of the life out of you. Number three, write this down. You know you're in relationship with an insecure person when they project their own low self-esteem onto you. They project their own low self-esteem onto you. Um, 
A lot of times you get into relationships with people who cannot celebrate your greatness. They spend their time trying to show you you're not great. As a matter of fact, they spend their time trying to prove to you that you are average. And they cannot stand anything that celebrates your greatness, anything that makes you feel good about yourself. That's why every time there's an occasion where you're celebrated, a fight breaks out, a fuss happens. Something has to happen to bring you down because of their insecurity. They don't want you to feel good about who you are. They don't want you, listen, because they are always, always haunted by a mindset of abandonment. Well, I can't let her feel great about herself because if she feels great about herself, she might not want me anymore. I can't let him feel good about himself because if he feels good about himself, he might move on to somebody better. So they spend their time trying to prove to you that you are average. I'm talking to somebody in this room. And they project their insecurity onto you. Um, if your career is thriving and theirs is struggling, they make every excuse in the world for why you're thriving and they're struggling. And they never say you're doing well because you're gifted. They never say you're doing well because you're intelligent. They never say you're doing well because of a good characteristic or a good trait that is in you. It's always because you got more breaks than me. What are they doing? They're minimizing your greatness because they don't want you to feel so good about yourself because if you feel good about yourself, you might start looking at me through different lenses. Insecure people, brothers and sisters, insecure people will project their own low self-esteem on to you. They have made it their mission to make you feel bad. I can't let you get too high because if you get too high, you might leave me behind. That's my insecurity. Number four, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. They use guilt to manipulate you. They use guilt to manipulate you. They use guilt to manipulate you. They keep you stuck in that relationship by guilt tripping you. Oh, you're going to leave me like she did. Oh, you're going you gonna to do me like he did. I see. I see. I see. What are they doing? They're controlling you with the spirit of guilt. So you stay in a relationship that you know you need to be running from. Huh? You stay with a person that you know is cancerous to your emotional well-being. They use guilt to hold you hostage. So you spend your whole relationship trying to prove to them that you ain't going to do them like somebody else did them. So you spend your relationship fighting with the ghost of the past. Huh? And they manipulate you. They dominate you. They control you with the spirit of guilt. They make you feel guilty about finding time for yourself. Whenever you do something that does not include them, they guilt trip you. They say you're being selfish. You're being selfish because you're never supposed to find time without me to enjoy yourself. I can't stand you enjoying yourself and I'm not present. So they guilt trip you. Oh, you went without me, huh? Oh, you did it without me. Huh? I thought we were going to do it together. Well, uh, sometimes I need some me time. Not some her or some him or some she time. I need some me time. I need some time to do something by myself. And when I do, I don't need you guilt tripping me because I found time for me. 
That goes back to that controlling. They want to control all of your time. Want to control your existence. Want to control your life. And one of the ways they control your life is by making you feel guilty. I wonder how many people watching me tonight are being guilt tripped into staying in a relationship that you know the expiration date has passed on. I wonder how many people are in relationship right now simply because you feel guilty and you have been manipulated by uh, the insecurities of another person making you feel guilty. Number six, write this down. What did I do number five? Number five, they always feel neglected. They always feel neglected. Everything you do is neglecting them. If, if you are on the phone with somebody and you're talking and you don't mention that they're in the room, why you didn't tell them I was here? They always feel neglected. They are always fighting for inclusion. I'm talking to somebody in this room. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter what the circumstances are. Doesn't matter what the situation is. You got to mention me. You have to include me. If you are on the phone talking with your mother, when you get off, they're going to say, why didn't you tell her? Why didn't you tell her I was here? Why didn't you tell her? Why didn't you say something about me? You, you, you talk for 30 minutes to your mother and you never even mention me. Huh? They are insecure and they are fighting for inclusion. So what happens is, and I've said this to you before, they try to exclude, they try to diminish, they try to abolish any relationship with any person uh, that you love because they want to be the center of your attention. And whenever they are not the center of your attention, they feel neglected. A lot of y'all are in relationship with people who, who don't want you to give attention to your baby. They are so insecure, your, your, your baby can't even get attention. They are, they are fighting for relevance against your baby. They don't want you to have, uh, you know, affection even toward a baby or a child. What's going on? That's an insecure person and they are always struggling for your full and undivided attention. You cannot, you cannot focus on them and him. You cannot focus on them and her. All eyes on me or else I feel neglected and I have a pity party, a sympathy session, and I throw a tantrum. You know you're in relationship with an insecure person when they are always feeling neglected. Why didn't you mention me? You didn't even call my name. You, you, you Listen, you were on the phone. What, you ashamed of me? Are you ashamed of being in relationship with me? Why didn't you mention me? Why didn't you talk about me? What, what's the problem? The problem is you are insecure and you are hard to deal with. They make you miserable. They make you tired. They drain all of your energy because you always get this bending over backwards to make sure that you stroke their insecure ego. They always feel neglected. It just, you, you, you're not doing me right. You, 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 you didn't call me today. You, I was working hard today. You didn't call me today. You didn't have time for me today, huh? Uh, you, 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 you moving on without me, huh? Listen, listen. They always make you feel like you are doing them some kind of disservice. They feel neglected. And the problem is they are insecure. And because of their insecurity, they always feel like they are being left out.
Final thing, and I'm done. Number six. Number six. You know you're in a relationship with an insecure person when your independence scares them. When your independence scares them, when they view your independence as a threat to your relationship with them. So if you have a success that they didn't participate in, they're threatened by it. Huh? If you have a victory, if you have victory in any area of your life and they were not uh, the conduit by which that victory came, they feel threatened because they never want anything to happen in your life. Nothing. They want nothing to happen in your life that they are not at the helm of and they are not in the center of. So they view success as a threat. They view your career as a threat. They view any aspect of your life where you have found independence as a threat. They, they don't even want you to have an opinion because an opinion means you're too independent. So when you voice your opinion, you're being disrespectful. You're being, you're challenging my manhood. You're being disrespectful. You're challenging my womanhood. Listen, listen. The problem is, you, my friend, are insecure and you need to heal before you get into relationship. There are areas of your life that demand too much attention and the price that is on relationship with you is too much for me to pay. Listen, you need to know when you're in relationship with an insecure person. And get this, don't ever allow, and I'm saying this and I hope you hear it with your heart, don't ever allow a relationship to consume you so much until you lose sight on who you are, what you have, and where you were going before you got in that relationship. I thank y'all for spending these few moments with me tonight. Just a little discussion and a little talk. How to know when you're in relationship with an insecure person. And uh, listen, if you have had conversation after conversation after conversation after conversation, and they are still jealous, they're still fearful, they're still scared, they're still draining, they are still... Listen, I got two words for you. Run, Forrest. <laughs> Blessings and favor and strength from God our Father. Y'all go get it. Because it's yours. I do love you, love, And I do appreciate you. All of the things that you've done. And the bondage you brought me from. Oh, yes, I do love you, Lord. For all of the unearned rewards. All of the victories. Son, I love you.